Hello everyone, David here. Read and write for Google Chrome has become hugely popular in Thames Valley, so I wanted to put together this video to show the largest number of people I possibly can how to use it. So what I'm gonna do is work my way from the left-hand side of the toolbar, so over here, all the way to the right-hand side. So first of all, to access Read and Write for Google Chrome, it's the purple puzzle piece that you'll see up in your extensions bar. So I've clicked that already. So let's get started with the first tool on the left-hand side of the toolbar. All right, so let's jump right in there and have a look at that toolbar. So I'm gonna start on the left-hand side with the prediction tool. That's just crystal ball up here at the, on the left-hand side. So if I click on that, you're gonna see a purple line that's appeared underneath it. And that means that the prediction tool has been activated. So let me type a very simple sentence. It is, and if I was a student and I wasn't quite sure how to spell beautiful, I can select the right word from this list while I listen to it. Beauty. Beauty. No, that's not it. What about this one? Beautiful. Beautiful. That's the correct one. And next word, outside. So how do I spell outside? Let's have a listen. Outside. outside. Yeah, that's the right one. So I'm going to click on that. And today. Perfect. So that's how the prediction tool works. Uh, you can limit the number of words that it predicts uh, from three up into 10. Right now, it looks like it's set for nine. So let's move on to the next tool. Okay, so the next tool that we have available in our read and write toolbar is the dictionary. And I can see that this is a dictionary because if I hover my cursor over it, it says dictionary underneath. So what I'm gonna do is select a simple word like chicken and I'm gonna click dictionary. So here we have a definition for chicken and these are play buttons. Chicken. And I can also play back the definition by clicking this play button. Noun. A large farm bird or the meat of this bird. We will have chicken for dinner tonight. So that's how the dictionary feature works in Read and Write. The next tool is very similar to the previous one. However, this includes a picture. So if I select a word, we'll select throat this time and then click on this tool here, Picture Dictionary. Read and Write is going to provide me with a picture of that word. Again, we can listen to it. Throat. Throat. And you can also drag these icons right into the text if you see a use for that. So that is the Picture Dictionary. The next tools are relatively self-explanatory, so I'm gonna group them together into a group of three. So I have the play, the pause, and the stop button. So if I go down to my text and put my cursor down, and put it there, and I select the play button, it's going to start reading the text back to me. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry. I'm going blind in my right eye. And I just paused it. Let's unpause it. My tonsils are as big as rocks. And stop it. All right, so let's move on to the next tool. So next we have our screenshot recorder. It's up here in the toolbar. So let me select that tool and go down here to the text. And we will select this, this text here. And it will read it back to me. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy and McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps cap. So that is our screenshot recorder. I really like this next tool. What it does is it allows teachers and students to turn text into audio files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control A on my Chromebook to select all the text in this poem. And I'm going to go up to my toolbar and I'm going to select the audio maker tool and a little blue progress bar will appear under the tool. Perhaps you can see it here. And when that is finished, it's going to take that audio file and store it right in my Google Drive. So that is the Audio Maker tool in Read and Write. The next tool is pretty straightforward. It is the screen masking tool. So let's select that one. It turns the screen dark, except for this bar that may help our students keep focused on the text. So a simple, but perhaps beneficial tool for our students. That is the screen masking tool. The next tool in Read and Write is fantastic. It is the talk and type. It looks like these headphones here. So if I select this, 
it's going to immediately allow my voice to become text. I may just have to click the allow button on the Chromebook in order for that to happen. This is a great tool, exclamation mark. I hope everyone enjoys my video, exclamation mark. New paragraph, David. Okay, we'll just turn that off there. So that is the talk and type feature. Now this isn't particularly exclusive to read and write because if you're in a Google document and you go under tools, you can see you also have the option for voice typing. And it doesn't just work in English. If I select the drop down menu here, we can see that there are many other languages available as well. So again, that is the talk and type tool in Read and Write for Google Chrome. The translating tool is next. So let me pick another word. Let's take mouth, for example, and then click on our translate tool, which is here with a couple of arrows. And it's going to translate the word from English into French. And we can change those in the settings, and I'll show you how to do that later. But right now, the setting is to go from English into French. So we have our play button, so we can listen to the English word here. Mouth. And the French equivalent. Bush. Perfect. So that is the translate tool in Read and Write. All right, for the next tool, what I'm actually going to do is group together seven tools. So the first four we have here are the highlighters. So I'm going to highlight four words in my text. So we will make mouth blue, throat pink, let's take tonsils, we'll make that one yellow, and rocks, we'll turn that one green. Okay, so just a simple highlighting tool. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually skip over the tool that says clear highlights and go to the next one to the right. This is collect highlights. So I'm going to select that one. And here I have an option to sort my highlights by position or by color. And it also lets me choose which colors to collect. So I'm going to tap on OK. And Read and Write is going to do a little work behind the scenes and create a brand new talk document that's stored to my Google Drive called highlights untitled, and there's the words that I highlighted. So this would be good for students if they're working on different parts of speech or they want to build a personalized vocabulary, vocabulary list. So let's go back in here to where my read and write toolbar is. And now let's click on the next tool to the right. This is vocabulary. I love this one. So I'm going to click on that. And this sometimes can take a few seconds to work, but Read and Write is doing more work behind the scenes. It's creating a brand new document that will be uh, stored in my Google Drive. So it's going to open up here in just a second. There it comes now. And this one's called Vocabulary List. Okay, so not only do we have the word and the meaning, we also have a symbol. It'll pop up here in a second. And students can also create some notes here on the right-hand side in the margin. Okay, we're just waiting for those pictures to load up. There we go. Okay, so this is a great way for students to build a personalized vocabulary list. All right, one more thing. Let's back up to my read and write toolbar here. We want to sweep those highlights away. So I'm going to press Control A on the Chromebook to select all the text. And I'm going to click this broom icon that says clear highlights. And now they're gone. So let's have a look at our next tool. So we're almost finished our trip through the Read and Write for Google Chrome toolbar. We just have a couple features left. The next one is called Voice Note. It's a pretty simple tool. If I select this, I have an option to leave myself a voice note. And if I do, it's going to insert it over here on the right-hand side of my document in the same place that if you were leaving a text comment, it would appear there. But instead of text, it's going to have a little play button and it's going to allow uh, students to leave a voice note for themselves. So that is the voice note option. So it's kind of like the comment feature, but instead of comments, it's an audio recording. And teachers could also leave comments uh, on student documents as well, so the students could listen to the teacher's comments rather than have to read them. So that is voice note. I'm confident that everyone is going to love this last tool as much as I do. What it allows teachers to do is a reading conference with students without actually having to sit beside the students. So it frees them up to do it at a later time. So I'm going to select all my text by pressing Control A. And then I'm going to tap on my tool that says Practice Reading Aloud. A brand new tab will open up. 
that will give students access to the text over here on the left hand side. And you can also see there's still some features for students to, to, to use from, uh, from the read and write toolbar up at the top. But what they wanna do then is click on the microphone to start recording. So I'm gonna do that now. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. Then the students will press the stop button. They can listen to themselves read the text back if they wish. But what they want to ultimately do is send that audio recording to their teacher. So they're going to click on the button that looks like a paper airplane, find their teacher, and then it will send a, a, an email to that teacher's Gmail account containing an audio recording of that student reading the text. So I love this free, uh, I love this feature because it would be so much more convenient to, to do with a large class because I'd be able to get those files and even in a parent teacher conference, I would be able to play those files back for parents if they wanted to hear their child read. All right, so we're really close to the end of our read and write for Google Chrome tutorial. There's only one last thing I wanna show you and that's how read and write can be used on a website as well. So here I have a, a, an article in the London Free Press, the local uh, newspaper. And I've accessed my read and write toolbar by clicking on the RW purple puzzle piece. And it looks almost the same as the toolbar that you saw on uh, the Google Doc, except for a couple of new additions, including the hover speech, which allows you to hover over words and have read and write read it back to you, as well as this one that's kind of neat over here. This is a simplified page option. So if I select that, a new tab will open up and it will allow, let me just move this out of the way, and it will allow students to simplify the page. So if they press minus, it's going to just pull out some of the key information from the article to make it a little more readable for our students. Also, you can change the contrast. So you got black and white and you have some other features. Here's blue and yellow. All right. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Read and Write for Google Chrome is an amazing tool that not only is necessary for some, but uh, beneficial for all. So thank you.